It's not. It's gonna be stupid. How's it going, guys? Royalty here with some more Battlefield Bad Company 2. I got a attack on Atacama Rush today for you guys. Uh, I really like to roll the assault class with uh, smoke on this map. Um, it's so wide open. It really helps you cover your chokes and cover your those all those open boxes to try to get them armed. So it's pretty much a class I always roll. And then so right off the bat, I like to take the uh, the quad and. I will swing out way far left because people like to lay mines. If it's a little bit later in the match, I'll go even farther out. But I figure the engineers haven't really gotten that far yet on my first run. So I go all the way around, all the way around the, behind the base here, and I'll hop up this little chute in the back. And I'm going to try and get into this uh, back middle two-story. And, uh, and I noticed the door was gone, so I know there's somebody in here. And here's the guy in the 50. Awesome knife. Gotta love it. <laughs> get the stab there, and it takes two swipes and I'm pretty sure this guy on the roof was talking to the guy below the whole game because whenever I killed one the other one would get me right afterwards so attempt number two German same flank go in the same spot um, I like this house for you know a couple reasons uh, it's it overlooks a it's one of the only good spots you can really uh, watch a from uh, as the attacker none of the front buildings really offer any good advantage over there and if you get here really, really quick, you can actually take out the guy on the vads from the second story or the roof. It'll really help out your chopper pilot if you can't snipe him off or mortar him off or whatever. So, I'm trying to do that. I think I was taking a phone call right here, but I decided to just be like a mobile spawn for my squad. You know, it's, it's nice to roll with just more than one person when you're trying to do something in the enemy base. Because if you die, it's just you have to go back to the spawn. So right here, I get to the roof, and I heard some guy in the 50, so I take him out. And then from up here, I like to you know, just cover A and smoke. You know, you can also overlook B if it's armed too. This really, if you can control this building, you can control the the area and really get everything armed up and keep it armed. Yeah. So in this game, usually I'm like super Rambo dude running around armored boxes, but uh, playing more of a sport role, kind of just picking off dudes and laying down smoke wherever I need it. Uh, so right here, I'd like to uh, illustrate the point that you shouldn't spawn on your squad if they're in a vehicle. Because there's really no point. So you can just spawn on them after they get out of the vehicle. You don't want to give somebody like a lucky, you know, quad kill on an AT mine or something like that. So I usually just wait till they get there, hop out of the vehicle, and then I'll spawn. And there's, it really doesn't, it doesn't benefit you at all to spawn earlier. Because you're just going to be sitting in the vehicle twiddling your thumbs, especially if there's no uh, 50 cal spots left in the vehicle so yeah grab this 50 is actually not a bad idea um, I think I killed this guy like right after he disarms it which is seriously so annoying <laughs> but uh, I think we eventually get it so I'm just kind of just rolling around their spawns are trying to get map control around A <laughs> I can't believe I missed this medic <laughs> I think I chase him down for like a minute so I run up here and then he jumps off <laughs> and I miss him some more and then he jumps down again I think I finally kill him right here, but he pops up his homie, and I don't know if that was like the uh, invulnerability when you, after your revive timer, or that was the knife just sucking, but I died. <laughs> Fortunately, coin pops me up because he's awesome, and we uh, and he takes him out too. Yep, so kind of just patrolling the back of their base, trying to get map control, and then whenever I can, I'll just pop some smoke on A and try to give. Uh, Anybody, a, a, you know, a free look at it. It's where they won't get shot. And this is kind of a fail right here. I get this one, dude, but then <laughs> get waxed by the guy behind me. So, I was killing those dudes, and uh, on the Xbox, the B button is a uh, the the button to get on vehicles and stuff and sometimes when I'm pulling the trigger my fat fingers will hit the fucking the button and it'll suck me on to like 50 cals or quads that are close it's uh it's seriously so annoying a couple of times I'll be doing some nice chopper raping and I'll get I'll just press B and it'll drop me out of the chopper which is just so annoying but it happens so I think we finally got A-armed, and I don't know how this guy doesn't kill me. If you shoot somebody in the back on the 360 and they're, and they're able to sh turn around and kill you, you just feel shame. Because it takes forever to turn around. So, 
Go to him, try to find a spot where I can hide and watch it, but I don't really think they even... I think maybe a couple dudes try to get it, but we got pretty much their whole entire base is just covered in our dudes. All their bases belong to us. And it blows up. We're on to the next stage. Um, this is probably, honestly, the hardest stage on Atacama Attack. Um, between all the people who love to snipe from your spawn and the fact that A is just so out in the open and right in the middle of their base, it makes it pretty hard. But uh, on to the second set. Usually I'll pop smoke right here to cover my entrance into B. And sometimes I'll pop smoke in B just to make it a little crazy in there so they won't see me coming in. Uh, but in this case, honestly, I think the defender spawn is a little far from the MCOMs. It's, you know, you're almost as far from the MCOMs as the attackers are. So I just, you, if, if, if you go as fast as you can, you can off, oftentimes beat them there. And I think that's what happened right here is they just never even get set. And if you don't get set on this stage, you're kind of fucked. So we get B and A, we get double plant, and this is honestly pretty boring. I always like to go B first on this stage. I feel like A, you can flank it around from multiple locations, but there's really only one route to get into B. And if they pile guys into B, you're, you're going to be in a lot of trouble trying to arm that thing. So that's that. <laughs> and there's some terrible hip fire, and this guy takes me out. But I think coin pops me up right here. Yeah. So on this stage, while I'm waiting for the black to go away, I will just start popping smoke like crazy. I try to cover that, that building right there, and then there's an also a building to the left they like to hang out in. So if you can cover them in smoke, they won't be able to see you, you know, run across the open desert and charge up into A. I usually I'll try to get control of this front middle building or the back middle of the building, kind of like the on the first set. Um, they both have pretty good looks at A, and, uh, you know, you have the elevation advantage and you get a little cover if you're shooting out of windows. So, mash it up here. Usually there's somebody right here. I, in fact, there's this, guy, <laughs> there's this guy right here. Dude, I just did completely not see him. I could have just run over, taken my time, stabbed him in the back, but I just com I just completely missed him, which is which is so sad, because who doesn't love knifing somebody, right? So I usually get on the roof and see what we can do, but I think there's some shenanigans going on behind me. It's like I, I jump down and spray wildly with that and <laughs> I don't know how I killed that guy. <laughs> like, uh, I'm gonna give that one up to the spread on the uh, the hip fire of the pistols is pretty ridiculous. But it honestly didn't even look like I was aiming at him. Whatever. So that's what he managed to arm Bravo. And again on Bravo on the first and third set, I just pretty much ignore them until A's gone because they're in constructible buildings. You can take them out with the Apache or uh, sorry the Hind or mortars or whatever if you if you like to do that. But. So usually, yeah, I'll stay in this house and I'll keep popping smoke on A. Uh, yeah, I've started to use these those stairs on, on that type of buildings as opposed to the stairs that go up the middle because you don't have to look so many places once you get up to the top. You saw on that my very first route, I probably should have taken the back the back stairs and I would have lived and killed that guy on the roof. But so just another random little thing. So I think I hang out up here and then <laughs> I don't know how that goose stuff didn't. Kill me, but it must have hit it right below me. It was almost seamless. Uh, I dropped down. I was like, "Oh, I'm on the second floor now." Interesting. So I think I hang out up here, kind of just killing dudes and popping smoke on A occasionally whenever I can, hoping somebody will make a run. I, I don't know how I don't get this guy. Some terrible shooting. Some garbage. Actually, mate, is a pretty nice gun. Uh, I tend to like it a lot. Oh, this is terrible shot selection right here. I, it's one of the big things in Battlefield is picking who to shoot at. And right there, I picked the wrong guy. There's a couple guys that had no cover and were also looking at me and I really should have shot them instead of that guy behind the wall. So, that's just something to think about. And you know, I could usually improve on a lot is where I'm shooting. So somebody managed to arm up A. <coughs> and we're uh, just kind of watching the box. You see we're in that back middle building again. Which is, if you get get control of this building, it's huge. I think they eventually come up here and kill me, but we control it long enough to blow up A. Yeah, that guy came up behind me <laughs> on my ass. So on this last set, um, I'll usually roll smoke again, and I'll I'll either run the far far right flank, or I'll take a quad or a scorpion over there, and you can get really really far out on the right hand flank. Like farther than the enemy would think is reasonable, and you can almost always get into A unseen. 
So that's what I usually do, but I saw this guy in a tank in the back of their spawn. <laughs> and I honestly love the 50 cals on the tank. They're just so beastly. They kill people so fast, especially if you have warheads. Oh my god, they go down so quick. So I decided to just hop in this tank and just do a little spawn raping. Um, yeah, there's two ways to can, you know blow up a box. You can get map control around the box, or you can get map control in their spawn. And this guy and I basically almost get map control in their spawn. So he's got the alternate weapon, and I've got the 50 cal, and it's just bad doobies for them. Just firing at any red dots I see. And I'm trying to watch the boxes when they get armed. I don't do the best job. I think I get a couple kills of guys trying to disarm, but I think they disarm under my nose one time. But I think that's basically it, guys. <laughs> Just a whole bunch more uh, tank rape. I get like 10 or 12 kills, kills or something right here. It's pretty ridiculous. But uh, I guess that's really all I got. Uh, Battlefield 3 is coming out. Saw the, the footage and stuff. Can't wait till October. It's gonna be fun. My only worry is it looks a little like Medal of Honor. Like the guns and stuff? I don't know. Maybe. And that one preview video looked a little cottish. I know it was just like one area of a big rush map, but it was still a little disconcerting. Um, I don't know. Hopefully, I'm sure it'll be awesome. But those are my thoughts on it. Can't believe uh, Red Dragons and uh, what was it? Don't Blink waited for four hours to, <laughs> to, <laughs> to play that, man. I would have been raging so hard. I hope you guys had a smartphone doing that shit. That would have been pretty boring. But, uh, yeah. More just hanging out here, killing dudes. Uh, I guess that's really about it. Uh, hope you guys liked the vid. Uh, take care. Royal T out.